Sea urchins are referred to as sea hedgehogs because of their spiny exterior and resemblance to the land-dwelling creatures. Their name also reflects this connection too, as urchin is an old word for hedgehog. They constitute the class Echinoidea of the Echinoderm phylum. They exist in several colors, including black and dull shades of green, olive, brown, purple, blue, and red. They are ambulatory, but move very slowly and stay close to the ocean floor. Hundreds of transparent tube feet help them to stick to the bottom of the ocean and move. The feet are controlled by a water vascular system, allowing the sea urchin to pump water in and out of the tube, providing a means of locomotion. Sea urchins feed mostly on algae. They have five teeth on their underside that they use to ingest and break down algae and other foods. They are towards the bottom of the oceanic food web, serving as food for several species of fish and marine mammals. Their predators include sea otters, starfish, wolf eels, and triggerfish. The anatomy of a sea urchin is relatively simple, and they are often used as model organisms for developmental biology. They range in size from 6 to 12 centimeters, but there have been reported individuals as big as 36 centimeters. The interior space mainly consists of the five gonads and the digestive system. They have bilateral symmetry initially, but then develop five-fold symmetry as they grow. Sea urchins are sexually reproducing organisms that normally proliferate between the ages of two and five. First, millions of eggs are released by the females that go and fuse with sperm released by the males. This unification normally takes place outside of the female's body and results in the formation of a larva, known as a pluteus. The sex of the pluteus is impossible to distinguish until it starts to release its own eggs or sperm. This picture shows the stages of development of a sea urchin from a larva to a full-grown individual. Sea cucumbers get their name because of their resemblance to the vegetable. They are also members of the echinoderm phylum and constitute the Holotheridae class. They are found on the sea floor all over the world and often make up the majority of animal biomass on the deep sea floor. Their roles in the ecosystem are to help recycle nutrients and break down organic matter by feeding on debris in the benthic zone. Like sea urchins, they are low on the food chain but play a vital role in nutrient cycling. Sea cucumbers take food in with 8 to 30 tube feet that resemble tentacles. They break the particles into even smaller pieces and release them back into the ocean ecosystem, much like an earthworm in a terrestrial setting. Their predators are highly specialized and include big mollusks, certain fish like triggerfish and pufferfish, and crustaceans like lobsters and crabs. They are ambulatory, and some can move with the aid of swimming appendages, while others make long jumps before falling to the seafloor. Sea cucumbers are typically 10 to 30 centimeters, although individuals as small as 3 millimeters and as large as 3 meters have been reported. They do not have the arms that are typical of other echinoderms. Their bodies are roughly cylindrical and radially symmetrical. They extract oxygen through a pair of respiratory trees and breathe by drawing in water and expelling it out. This is also how they excrete their waste after breaking food into smaller particles. Sea cucumbers can communicate with each other by sending hormone signals through the water. The main aim of this communication is reproduction. Sea cucumbers can breed sexually or asexually. The sexual reproduction is more typical and similar to that of sea urchins. Both sexes release their respective gametes and fertilization occurs in the water when a sperm and egg meet. For asexual reproduction, they divide into two halves, and each half regenerates the missing organs in a few months. Both sea urchins and sea cucumbers are fairly populous, and most species are not considered endangered. However, they are affected by changes in their environment, and they may become more endangered in the future. Both of their populations are affected by overharvesting, and species found in areas with high human populations that rely on sea cucumbers and sea urchins as a part of their economy are at a great risk of extinction. Many species are used for medicine or cuisine. The eggs and young larvae of sea cucumbers, as well as the full-grown individuals, are a popular delicacy in Asia. And climate change is affecting the temperature of the oceans and the frequency of storms, further disturbing these organisms. Sea cucumbers will estivate if water temperatures are too high, which means they enter a prolonged state of dormancy in an attempt to survive the intense temperature. Because of their importance in ocean food webs and the real threat of extinction if the climate continues to change, conservation efforts directed at sea cucumbers and sea urchins are vital if we want to maintain the integrity of the ocean ecosystem.